Hello everyone, in this session we'll continue to look at navigation and routing in SAP UI5. Uh, so we all know that uh, in SAP UI5 the navigation and routing is based on the hash value. Uh, so we have this uh, route slash hash employees and this takes us to the employees view. Uh, but there are many instances, uh, for example, in master detail uh, pages and any pages where there are relationship between the master view and the child view uh, where we need to pass in the ID or some parameter to the child view. Uh, so in these cases, the parameter that we pass is a mandatory parameter that needs to be passed. And we'll look at how we can pass these mandatory parameters between different views. Uh, so in our example, we may have uh, a scenario where we may have to pass in the employee's ID. Uh, so let's say, for example, slash three. Uh, to the child view. And this value can change, obviously. So we could have uh, employees slash two, and uh, we all, and uh, whatever the ID is, we need to move to the employee view uh, with this ID that is being passed. Uh, so as you might have guessed, we would use the nav2 parameter, uh, the nav2 method of the router to go to this new view. Uh, so, and we pass in the name of the route. And this is how we would uh, navigate from the master view to the child view. Uh, we would do the nav2 method of the router and pass in the name of the route. Now, there may be instances where we may pass in a invalid uh, ID say let's say we pass in ABC in this case uh, we do, we don't we want to display this invalid target uh, and for this uh, we want to use the get targets and the, the display method and then pass in the name of the target uh, in this case we want to go to the invalid route so we want to pass the name of the invalid target and this is how we would want to navigate to that invalid target uh, so we would use the nav2 method to go to this valid target valid route and if you pass in an invalid value then we want to use the display method to go to the name of the target now we've already seen the nav2 method in the previous session the only thing we haven't seen is how to pass in this ID uh, so for that uh, what we'll do is we'll start off with uh, putting uh, creating a JSON value so uh, so here I have a JSON model and this points to employees.json file and in my data I have employees.json has a bunch of employees with their first name and last name and if I go into my manifest.json one more time I want to create a new route and uh, let me go ahead and create this new route and here is my new route and look at the pattern uh, we've seen this pattern before where it's uh, employees it's hard-coded uh, but here this ID value is between curly braces so this can be any value and but it is mandatory and that is denoted by these curly braces uh, so it could be employees 3 employees slash 2 employees 50 and whatever it is uh, but it is a mandatory parameter and if this pattern is hit uh, then this target employee is going to be activated and in my target employee uh, I take you to this employee view now in my employee view, uh, which I've already created a, just a uh, bare minimum employee view, uh, it has a controller for this employee view, which is also employee. I go into my employee controller.js and that is also a bare minimum employee controller.js file. So let's see how we can uh, uh, wire this all together. Uh, so I go into my employees view.xml and here let me just create a button that when pressed will take me to the employee view uh, passing in the parameter id so here i'll just create a button here and 
when I press on this, the on nav to with mandatory parameters method is called, and this will navigate me to the employee view passing in the ID parameter. Uh, so let's look at how it's done. Uh, so I have the method on nav to with mandatory parameters, uh, but nothing in there at this moment. Uh, so we know that we want to navigate to with the nav to method. Uh, so the way I would do it is I would get the router using the base controller this got get route method uh, this dot get router method gives me the router and we already seen this nav2 method before passing in the name of the route so if i look in my json file the name of my route is uh, is employee so this is the name that you want to pass uh, so we pass in the name of the route now this takes this mandatory parameter, so I'm going to pass in ID as zero. Uh, so this is how you would pass in additional values in the object as an object. Uh, so here we want to pass in ID as zero, and the reason why we have it as ID is because uh, this within the curly braces is ID. Okay, so now we are able to navigate to the employee view passing in the value of ID. But on the employee view, I want to be able to read this value and also display the corresponding employee. Uh, so in my employee view.xml, uh, what I'll do is I'll create like this uh, UI to show the first name and the last name. So I'll create a vert like a vertical box layout with a label and some text fields. Uh, so basically, from the JSON model, I want to read out the first name and the last name. Now, the JSON model obviously has a whole bunch of employees, uh, so we need to be able to pass in the proper employee, uh, the employee, the ID that is being passed from the employees controller.js. Uh, so for that, uh, what we would have to do is um, uh, we would have to read the ID value that is being passed and then bind the view with that path. Uh, so the way we do it is uh, in my on init function, I make sure uh, that this employee route was hit. And if it is matched, then I want to run this method, this on route method. Um, so if I reach this employee controller.js, then chances are uh, that it came from this employee route, this, uh, this route was hit. And so I would want to run this on route method, on route matched method. And I will go ahead and paste that code here. Okay, so what are we doing here? Uh, so when this route is matched, um, we are getting the arguments from this event that is passed. Now in this arguments, we will get the value of this object, this ID as zero. And because we get that ID as zero, now we can bind the element using that value. So the orgs is what we get. Uh, by getting the arguments parameter from this O event. And we get the ID, we, we uh, bind it to this view. Um, now, this should work, we don't even need this, but this is good to make sure that we have some kind of a busy indicator when the data is requested and the data is received. And also we can do this uh, binding change at this moment. Uh, so what we also check for is if this uh, JSON model, if this context is uh, in is null, uh, then we go to this display target invalid. So let's see how this all works. I believe at this moment we have everything uh, wired up. So the first page that will get shown is the home page. And uh, by navigating to valid route, we are at the employee's uh, view. Now, when I hit with mandatory params, it shows the first uh, user in this list, in this manifest.json, in this employees.json, sorry. 
and that is all on Christmas which is good now let's see what we can do to make sure everything is working uh, so that's my hash employees slash zero uh, so what I'll do is I'll put employees slash uh, five for this time being and we see Tobin uh, and if I go here Tobin is right here so he's number six zero so it's zero indexed uh, so we are good now let me go ahead and see what happens if I put an invalid uh, ID here so if I put an invalid ID say ABC then it's not taking me to the invalid target like I had wanted it to uh, so we can fix that uh, by adding this line of code here uh, so here what I could do is uh, in my employee.controller.js I can see, do something like uh, let me see what we can do we can do var uh, binding context equals and then we can get this as the binding context so basically we are using a variable here and then if we do a binding context or if the binding context dot get property and then the first name so if there is no first name uh, then also go to the invalid target so let me save this and let's see right now we have ABC I believe yeah so hopefully this should take me to the invalid route again yeah so this took me to the invalid route just to make sure everything is working I will go ahead and put this as 2 and this shows a Maria Catrill and if I go in my employees.json uh, so this is uh, zero index so we are good okay that's it now for folks thank you